Thank you for joining us. We're going to be talking about limit orders on Uphold, how to set them, how to perform them, and why you should be doing them um, if you are planning on buying a crypto asset. We're going to show you the ins and outs on how to create the order and how to get in and out of that order. Limit orders revolve around the concept of creating a scenario where the app automatically triggers an action based on the target price and the market price. Target price is basically the point where you want to trigger the action, whether you want to buy or sell a particular crypto asset. The market price is what the actual asset is at the time of purchase. And this is what you're going to be basing your limit order on. Now to do this, we're going to go into our uphold screen. and going to show you exactly how that's done. First thing we're going to do on our uphold screen is focus in on the anything to anything option. This is going to be where we begin to set our limit action by selecting the limit button. Now, in this transaction, what we're going to try to do is execute a limit buy order. Now, to do that, let's select first where we get in the funds to initiate the buy. So from our from box, what we want to do is go ahead and hit that drop down menu. And let's say we're going to buy it from the USD account. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to hit this drop down menu to click to buy and decide how much of whatever asset I'm going to buy. Do I'm actually am I actually going to purchase? Let's just start off with like a five dollar. Now, we set what's called our target price. When do we want to trigger this action based off of the market price? All right. Currently. The market price for the particular coin in question, let's say it's Caspa, is at eight cents. I want to trigger this action at seven cents. It may never hit that trigger, but I want it to come down a little bit before I buy. This is the scenario in which you want to trigger this limit action. And what are we buying? And the two, we're buying Caspa. So we're buying five dollars of USD using five dollars of USD to buy Caspa when it hits seven cents. The duration good until canceled, but you do have options good until the end of the day, good until a particular date. All right. Regardless, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to preview this before we initiate the action. Now, you get a summary and go ahead and look at that statement. I've got five dollars coming from my USD account when Caspa is less than seven cents a token. Go ahead and process this order. Keep in mind that any transaction on uphold under $500 is going to cost you a dollar fee. You can have up to 50 separate limit orders, buying or selling at a single time. But keep in mind, those 50 orders means you're spending $50. So if you're gonna make these moves, make them with $500 or more, so you don't incur that fee. Once you've done with your order and you're set with it, go ahead and commit to the order. And you're done. Now, in a limit sell order, it's just the opposite. So what we want to do again is we want to focus on that limit button. And in this case, we're going to focus again on our cast. And what do I have currently in my cash account? I have about $12. All right. From this cash account, I want to sell half of it. So that's about $6. 
when it reaches a certain price, a target price. What's the target price I want to sell $6 worth? Currently, Casper is selling at $0.08. Cents. When it gets to $0.25, cents, I want you to sell it at $6. And I want to sell it and put the proceeds into my USDC account. You can select a number of accounts that you already have set up. For me, I just want to put it in my USDC account. You can set the action, good until, and then preview your order. And read your statements. I want to take $6 from my cash account when cash equals 25 cents or is greater than 25 cents, sell it and put the proceeds in my USD account. And this says good until canceled. This order is good until canceled. And you can go ahead and confirm the limit. Again, any transaction you create under $500 is going to cost you a dollar to set up. Make sure you're aware of that. Confirm the order and you're out. There's also a way to manage your orders. Just click on that and you will see your orders, all your active orders. Being able to successfully navigate ins and outs of a buy or sell order before these orders happen can happen when you're asleep and the market is still trading. That way you don't miss any fluctuations. If a particular coin just spikes one night and you want to be able to uh, capitalize on it because you don't know when the time or day these things are going to um, go hyperbolic. But having that price in mind, that target in mind, saves you any worry about having to jump back into your application and try to set this stuff up or manually buy these orders before um, things go up or down. Setting your sell and buy orders ahead of time will save you a whole lot of headache and worry. We are 630 watched hours away from monetizing this site. I could really use your help by just telling a friend, watching the channel, and let me know what you think of the content. Leave your comments below. Remember, all money is not good money. Watch how you spend it, and I hope to see you guys very, very soon.